NASA's Laser Communications Relay Demonstration, LCRD, is blasting off to space from Florida to prove we can communicate using lasers. LCRD will relay sample data, like glimpses of planetary surfaces or satellite health down to Earth over infrared lasers. Historically, NASA has used radio waves to communicate. When we landed on the moon in 1969, Neil Armstrong's first words came across radio waves. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. When we go back to the moon, we're going to stay longer and explore more. With so many new and exciting things happening on the moon, missions will need a better way to talk with Earth. And that's where lasers come in. LCRD will demo the vast capability of laser communications. This includes transmitting 10 to 100 times more information to Earth than is possible using radio systems, meaning missions can send more detailed photos, videos, and data. When LCRD reaches its destination, it will spend two years conducting experiments that will be developed by NASA and our friends in industry and academia. LCRD's first orbiting experimental user will be the International Space Station. Astronauts live and work there, conducting research about life in space, microgravity, biology, and more. Using lasers, the station will be able to relay more experimental data to scientists on Earth. Laser systems are great for missions like the space station because they weigh less, are smaller, and use less power than radio systems. A smaller size means more room for science instruments. Less weight means a less expensive launch. Less power means less drain on the spacecraft's batteries. LCRD and the space station will work together and demonstrate laser communications near Earth. This will help prove laser systems are an option for future expeditions back to the moon and then on to Mars. Join us and learn more at nasa.gov backslash lasercoms.